Well, welcome along for something a little bit different this time. We've just picked up a uh, Winnebago Revel and we're off on a little road trip around Colorado. So we just borrowed this from someone in Boulder, just picked it up just there, and we're heading north and then across into Rocky Mountain National Park. So that's us just started the descent down to our first stop for the weekend. We're going to stop in Estes Park here just to fill up on some groceries, maybe grab a beer and then from there we're going to head into Rocky Mountain National Park and up over the Continental Divide. us just got our groceries in we are just about to come out of Essex Park beautiful little town center we had a little wander around some nice shops down here uh, but we have our groceries we've got our food and we're gonna head up into the park and hopefully stop right at the very top at Trail Ridge Road and we'll have our dinner up there should be some beautiful views So here we are, we made it up for dinner. We are at the Alpine Visitor Center. Uh, it's at just below 12,000 feet and it is a beautiful view up here. We uh, saw some deer or elk as we were coming up there, but it's so quiet up here just now, it's beautiful. We're gonna make some dinner in the van and watch the sun go down behind us. We spent our first night on some national forest land at the edge of where the East Troublesome Fire started a wildfire that burned almost 194,000 acres back in 2020. We had breakfast at the van, then headed down to Grand Lake for some paddle boarding and a picnic. The first part of the drive from Grand Lake took us through ranching territory. At 7,500 feet, these are some of the highest elevation ranches in America. As we got closer to Leadville and Twin Lakes, the landscape soon became more rugged, and as we approached Independence Pass, the mist started to roll in, making for an interesting drive up the pass. So you join us here getting near the top of Independence Pass. It really is quite an incredible road. I think it's closed about half of the year. And as we've been coming up it, you can see where avalanches in the winter have taken just whole swaths of trees down. But it's quite a road. We're um, climbing up to, I think 11 or 12,000 feet. Um, and it gets really uh, switched back in narrow near the top here with big drop offs but it is quite an incredible drive. It's the scenic way to get from Leadville up and over to Aspen. 
but it's not for the faint of heart. So you join me at the viewing gallery at the top of Independence Pass. I just turn you around, you can see down there the road, and then way down that valley would be Twin Lakes and eventually Leadville. And we are just heading up, you can just see where the cloud is coming across the pass. And so we are heading just down the far side of the pass here towards Aspen. Quite an interesting descent, very narrow and windy road. Not so much fun in the rain, but absolutely beautiful up here. Nice and quiet when the weather's like this. Well, good morning. You join us on the third and the last day of our trip. And we are parked up at Maroon Bells. And it is <laughs> five in the morning, perhaps, because we are trying to get up to the scenic viewpoint for the sun to come up. So we uh, got here about midnight last night. And. Uh, now five-ish, so a couple of hours sleep, but hopefully we're going to get a beautiful sunrise across the Maroon Bells Lake, that is the plan. Anyway, I'm going to go so I can concentrate on where I'm walking, I'll speak to you all in a bit. So after we last talked, um, we were doing the sunrise photography um, down at Maroon Bells Lake. Uh, since then we went back to the van, we had a nice little snooze, the advantage of having your bed right there beside you. And then now we've come out as the uh, sun's out and we've just done the Maroon Bells Loop, about a two mile walk. We're just at the far end of it just now. Absolutely stunning walk. You go through the lush greens down in the valley below, surrounded by the bright red cliffs up above. And then you come up into these stands of Aspen. Just absolutely stunning, beautiful uh, little walk. I can understand why it gets so busy. We even were lucky enough to see a moose down by the lake, um, eating some sort of vegetation off the, um, off the bottom of the lake by the looks of it. So that was extra special, just seeing that moose. It didn't care, it didn't mind that we were there. We were a good 
100 yards or so away. Um, so yeah, now we're just going to head back to the van and then start winding our way back home.